I hope everyone is safe and sound. Very good. So today in this video lesson, we are going to learn about homophones and prefix. Yes, we are going to do two topics today that is homophones and prefix. I will be explaining you in this video lesson about homophones and prefix. And in my earlier video we had already completed up till here up till question answers text based question answers so today we are going to do textual vocabulary but your textual vocabulary ka matlab hota hai aisi vocabs jo textbook mein se li jati hai textbook ke piche jo exercise hoti hai na that is known as textual vocabulary so in our today's video lesson we are going to learn about homophones little learners what do you mean by homophones Homophones are the words that sounds alike but have different spellings and different meanings. Yes, little learners, homophones ऐसे words होते हैं जिनका sound same होता है but spellings और meaning ये दोनों ही चीज़ें क्या होती है Different होती है For example, h a i r hair और h a r e hair. For example, f l E W flu and F L sorry B L E W blue and B L U E blue. All right. So they have different spellings and different meanings, but their sounds are same. We spell them blue. B L E W blue means folk manna. B L U E blue means कलर वाला ब्लू ओके एंड एच ए आई आर मीन्स हेयर्स हमारे हेयर्स होते हैं ना हेड पे दैट इज हेयर एंड एच ए आर ई हेयर मीन्स रेबेट सो दे हैव होमोफोन्स आर द वर्ड्स दैट साउंड द सेम बट विद डिफरेंट स्पेलिंग्स एंड विद डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स सो हियर आर फ्यू ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे Which are as follows. Come on. So let's try to do it. Take out your pencils and let's get going. Choose the correct words to complete each sentence and write it on the line. Come on. Let's choose the correct word. See, here are two words given and we have to select one word as per the sentence. Sentence के हिसाब से जो भी appropriate word हमें मिलेगा हम वो select करेंगे All right, little learners, come on. So let's do it. Have you read the story about the tortoise and the dash? Tortoise and the hare. Very good. So we will write H A R E. Rabbit. Tortoise and rabbit. की story आप सबने सुनी है ना? दोनों दौड़ लगाते हैं. कौन first आता है? Tortoise. और hare क्या करता है तब? सो so, जाता है वाई बिकॉज ही वॉज वेरी इक्वल स्टेक एंड उसको लगता है कि मैं रेस जीत जाऊंगा बिकॉज टोटाइज तो धीरे धीरे चलता है मगर ऐसा नहीं होता टोटाइज अपने पूरी मेहनत करता है और हेयर क्या करता है सो so, जाता है बीच रास्ते में है ना ये स्टोरी सबने सुनी है Yes. Come to the next point. Dash going to be freezing cold outside today. What will come? It's के it's. Yes, it's it is it is going to be freezing 
cold outside today then dash your teacher this year who is going to be the teacher this year who is going to be your teacher this year who's your teacher this year and then the next question is can you help me find their picture book there t h e i r belongings bata rahe hain hum that's why we are going to write t h e i r there and this is the full form this is the sorry this is the short form they are but here we want to show the possessiveness that's why we had written t h e i r come on now come to the next one question number 5 there is a dash in my left socks there is a hole in my left socks ek w h o l e ka matlab hota hai pura aur h o l e ka matlab hota hai hole chhed so here we are going to here we are talking about h o l e hole not w h o l e they sounds the same but remember they have different spellings with different meanings now i want i won the basketball game dash only 4 points by only 4 points i won the basketball game by only 4 points now come to the seventh one i would like to have a fresh oatmeal cookies now come to the eighth point crystal won a prize in the swap sticks won won means jeet jana and o n e won means won only won okay now come to ninth one please make sure you wear a coat when you go outside yes w h e r e wear means kaha and w e a r means wear yani pehna come on let's read all the sentence one more time have you read the story about the tortoise and the hare second question it's going to be freezing cold outside today who's your teacher this year can please you help me find their picture book there is a hole in my left socks i won the basketball game by only 4 points i would like to have a fresh oatmeal cookie crystal won a prize in the swap stakes please make sure you wear a coat when you go outside now let's turn the page come to the next page and let's see what is there in page number 3030 everyone please come to page number 30 look there is one more question question number 10 is waiting homophone ka question number 10 the same exercise question number 10 is there dash sister dance dance recital is tomorrow evening your sister's dance recital is tomorrow evening now circle the correct homophones come on let us circle the correct homophones the very first one is i dash to receive your letter in the dash what we will write i cannot wait circle wait i cannot wait to receive your letter in the mail m a i l mail then we ate lots of meat for dinner 
We watched an eagle soar through the sky. Come on, let's circle this. Then tomorrow we are going to the beach. B e a c h beach. My uncle always has a good tale. Tale means story to tell. Then make sure the brake works on bike. What is the sum of two plus two? So here we are going to circle sum. What is the sum of two plus two? Come on, now let's read all the sentences. I can't wait to receive your letter in the mail. We ate lots of meat for dinner. What watched and we watched an eagle soar through the sky. Tomorrow we are going to the beach. My uncle always has a good tale to tell. Make sure the brake work on your bike. What is the sum of 2 plus 2? So this is how we had completed homophones. Now it's time to do prefixes. What are prefixes, little learners? Before we start prefix, I would like to tell you a small introduction of prefixes. See in page number 3131, prefix. So, little learners, prefix kya hota hai? Prefix are the words which we put in the front of the words. It's a couple of letters which we put in the front of the words and it makes a new and different meaning word like honest honest means sacha dishonest means jhootha well i am well main achhi hu i am unwell i am not well see prefixes are the letters which we add to the beginning of the word to make a new word with a different meaning. Now let's try to fill in the blanks with the prefixes. Here are the bank of prefixes given to us. And what we have to do is we have to simply write prefixes in front of the given words to make a new word with different meanings. Come on without wasting time let's do it first. Use the bank of prefixes to complete each word. There may be more than answers. There may be more than answers for some words. Come on, let's try to do the first one. Honest. Dishonest. Agree. Disagree. Tidy. Untidy. Possible, impossible, pair, unpair, wind, unwind, deuce, reduce. The next one is hail, exhale, certain, uncertain, fact, perfect, place, Replace, draw, redraw, visible, invisible, view, review, fail, unfair, fair, unfair. Now, first line is done by everyone. Come on, let's do the another line. Well, unwell, kind, unkind, obey, disobey, appear, disappear, allow, disallow, reserve, serve, reserve. 
ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ಲೀಡ್ ವೈಸ್ ರಿವೈಸ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲ್ ಅನ್ಯೂಶ್ವಲ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ರೀಪ್ಲೇ ಕೋಡ್ ಡೀ ಕೋಡ್ ಗಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೀಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಚೀಫ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಯುನಿಕಾನ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರೀವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಲೆಂಟ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯೆ ಸಾರೆ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಜೋ ಹಮನೆ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ ಲಿಖೆ ಯೆ ಸಾರೆ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸಸ್ ಕಹಲಾತೆ ಹೈ ಯೆ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಸಾಥ ಜುಡ ಕೆ ಎಕ್ ನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ ಬನಾತೆ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಲರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ದ ಪೇಜ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಬಿ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಈಚ್ ರೂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲೋ ಸಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ರೂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ರೀ ಅನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೇಸ್ first one is displeased second is unable third is redraw fourth is unhappy then disagree unusual retell unequal disobey and rewrite i hope it is visible to everyone first one is displease second is unable third is redraw fourth is unhappy fifth is disagree then unusual retell then unequal disobey and then rewrite this is how we had completed our two topics of textual vocabulary that is the first one which we had done is the prefix along with that we had also completed homophones so we had completed homophones of page number 29 28 and we had done page number 31 and page number 32 that is prefix and homophones we had completed so that's all for today see you all tomorrow with another two topic till then bye take care thank you and namaskar keep smiling little learners